uh, part, I'm going to present a very simple procedure of designing a potent turbine. You see, I've written seven steps. Following these steps, you can simply uh, design a potent turbine. Okay, for example, at the first step, you, the capacity or the flow rate of the turbine equals the uh, ratio of the power and the product of the specific weight of the working fluid or water in most cases, the head or the elevation of the water behind the dam or the elevation of the head water, and the overall efficiency of the turbine. This way you can compute capacity based on the efficiency or power, or you can compute the power based on the capacity. The second step is a relation about the velocity of the jet, which leaves the injector and, uh, hit and hits or touches the cup. The velocity of the jet uh, is equal to a constant, velocity constant, for example, which uh, this constant uh, has a magnitude between 95.95 to 0.98. And the square root of uh, twice uh, specific the gravity acceleration and the head. This way you can compute the velocity of the jet based on the head of the turbine. The third relation uh, computes the flow rate of each nozzle. If you have more than one nozzle in the turbine, so you have to uh, divide the to overall flow rate by the number of nozzles, so you can compute the capacity of each nozzle or the flow rate of each nozzle, which is shown by Q. Then, using the conservation of uh, mass or the formula for the flow rate, Q is uh, equals, uh, this is the area of cross-sectional area of the jet, D sub J is the diameter of the jet, and Vj is the velocity of the jet, which is computed in the second step. Again, using this relation, you can compute uh, the uh, diameter of the jet using the computed uh, flow rate of each nozzle and uh, the velocity of the jet uh, in, sec in item 2. Okay, uh, we have a, another uh, relation or another parameter in tur Pelton turbine, which is specific ra uh, uh, speed ratio, which is the ratio of two speeds. The new uh, of this relation is the circumferential velocity of the runner, and the denominator is the jet velocity, again, uh, using the result of uh, step two. So, uh, this uh, speed ratio uh, is uh, recommended to be about approximately equal to 0.45. There is one extra point here. Based on the previous uh, part of this lecture, uh, I've computed the power of the Pelton turbine based on the control volume analysis and the conservation of uh, momentum. And also, I've computed the, the optimum case for the uh, for a potent turbine, in that video I have computed that the ratio, uh, the speed ratio, or the ratio of the circumferential velocity and the jet velocity, equal to uh, zero point five is the optimum case. You see here uh, the our engineering advice is approximately the same. So uh, selecting this speed ratio. <sighs> is similar to the our, our result in the previous section based on the control volume analysis. And uh, this way, uh, using the relation U equals R omega, R is the radius of the runner and omega is, is the specific, is the angular velocity of the runner. Uh, so you can, uh, and using this constant as an engineering advice, you can easily compute the pitch diameter or the runner diameter or the diameter of the wheel. And at the sixth step, uh, you can compute the number of cups, Z. Uh, it, again, this is a, an engineering advice. Uh, Z is uh, equal to 15 plus uh, half of the ratio of the pitch diameter D and the jets diameter 
the ratio of D and D is called the jet ratio. The jet ratio, the uh, ratio of uh, D, the, the runner diameter or the pitch diameter and the jet diameter. It's called the jet ratio. So the half of uh, the, the jet ratio plus 15 is our recommendation for the number of cups or buckets. And uh, at the last step, you can compute the size of cup, 2.3 dj, 2.8 dj, d sub j, and uh, 0 0.6 dj, d is the jet diameter. These are the widths, the lengths, and the depths of the cups. The number of cups uh, is computed in item 6. And here is the geometrical size of the cup. This uh, procedure can be easily conducted to uh, about 5 minutes or 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you can easily design your own Pelton turbine.